Hi students, today we are discussing about the first unit of science, synthetic fibers and plastics. It is a chemistry topic. Before going to the video, you should write notes in your notebook and also do the exercise that given in the last session. Okay, in this chapter there are two parts. In the first part we discuss about synthetic fibers and in the second part we discuss about plastics. Okay, then here in this video the main topics we discuss about five main topics fibers natural fibers artificial fibers or synthetic fibers or man-made fibers polymers and types of synthetic fibers okay types of synthetic fibers here we discussed about two types of synthetic fibers rayon and nylon these are the two synthetic fibers in this video we discussed about these five topics these are the five important topics okay okay then we can move the video ah yes what do you mean by fibers the clothes which we wear are made of fabrics fabrics are made from fibers yes these fibers are classified into two types which are the natural fibers and synthetic fibers yes what do you mean by natural fibers first one is natural fibers what do you mean natural fibers? Fibers which are obtained naturally or called natural fibers. Then the examples are cotton, wool, silk, etc. Right? Yes. Then from what is obtained? Yes, they are obtained from plants and animals. So this is known as natural fibers because they are obtained from plants and animals. That is natural fibers are obtained from where? Yes, naturally. Right? Okay. Then the second one is Synthetic fibers or man-made fibers. What do you mean by synthetic fiber or man-made fiber? They are made by human beings. They are made by man. Right? Yes. So it is known as man-made fibers. Examples. Rayon, nylon, polyester. Okay. Then. Yes. Then what are synthetic fibers? What are synthetic fibers? Yes, here we can see the two pictures. In the first picture it is a necklace. Yes, it's a necklace. In the second picture it is a paper clip. Okay, then what are the similarity between these two? In the first picture, the necklace is made up of what? Yes, beads. Right? These beads are joined together to form a long chain. Right? Okay, in the second picture, the paper clips are joined together can see the paper clips are 1, 2, 3, 4. The paper clips are joined together to form a long chain. Right? So there is a similarity between these two. Right? Like, they, like this, synthetic fiber is also a chain of small units joined together. Understand? Synthetic fiber is a chain of small units joined together. These small units are actually a chemical substance. Okay, these small units are actually a chemical substance. Many such small units combined to form a large unit are called what? Polymer. Many such small units, we know that synthetic fibers is a chain of small units joined together to form a long chain. Then this long or large unit are called what? Polymer. Synthetic fiber are what? Polymers, right? Because synthetic fibers are made up of small, small units joined together to form a large unit. And we can say that synthetic fibers are polymers. Okay. Then we can uh, study more about polymer. Hmm? Okay. This polymer is comes from where? Yes, polymer is a uh, this word polymer. The word is comes from polymer. Word is comes from two Greek words, which are the poly and mer. Poly means what? Poly means many, and mer means what? Yes, part or unit. Okay, so polymer occurs in so polymer we can many part or unit. Okay, so polymer is made of many repeating units. Okay, this polymer, we, we already discussed that synthetic, poly, uh, synthetic fibers are polymers. Okay, this polymers occurs in nature also. For example, cotton. So, cotton is a polymer called what? Cellulose. Okay, this cellulose is made up of a large number of glucose units. Yes, in cellulose, 
this glucose units are joined together to form a large chain a large chain and this chain is known as what cellulose okay so this cellulose is made up of a large number of glucose units okay now we can discuss about the types of synthetic fibers there are four types of synthetic fibers are discussed in your textbook first one is rayon second one is nylon third one is polyester and fourth one acrylic in this video we discussed about two types of synthetic fiber rayon and nylon so we can move to the first synthetic fiber that is rayon rayon or artificial silk okay there is a history or there is a story behind the observation of rayon okay uh, what is the story you have already read or you have already studied in your class seventh class that silk fiber are obtained from where a silk worm it was discovered in china and was kept as very closely secret for a long time fabrics obtained from silk fiber was very costly its beautiful texture facilitated everybody attempts are made to make silk artificially towards the end of the 19th century scientists were successful in obtaining a fiber having properties that is similar to silk natural silk that is rayon rayon is obtained by chemical treatment chemical treatment of wood pulp so rayon is obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp rayon having properties similar to that of silk so it is known as artificial silk okay rayon having the properties similar to that of silk natural silk so it is also known as what artificial silk we already discussed that rayon is obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp this wood pulp is natural right okay although wood pulp is a natural rayon is not a natural fiber it is a artificial fiber why because rayon is obtained by chemical treatment this chemical treatment is made by whom yes human beings okay, okay. so uh, although rayon is obtained from wood pulp yet it is a man made fiber understand okay then what are the properties of rayon there are five properties it is a man made fiber firstly it is a synthetic fiber or it is a man made fiber the second property is it is cheaper than silk okay we already discussed that rayon is also known as what synthetic silk and this natural silk is very costly but synthetic silk or rayon is is cheaper than that of silk okay it can be woven like silk fibers this rayon can be woven like silk fibers the fourth one it can be dyed in a wide variety of colors what do you mean by dyed it can be dyed it can be colored in a wide variety of colors then fifth one rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets or mixed with wool to make carpet okay by using rayon we can make what bed sheets and carpets okay these are all the properties of rayon understand okay now we can discuss about the second synthetic fiber nylon nylon is a man made fiber and it was prepared from coal water and air in 1931 it was discovered okay then it was the first fully synthetic fiber nylon is a man made fiber it was prepared from coal water and air and it was first fully synthetic fiber yes another the properties of nylon there are five properties the first one it was strong elastic and light it was very strong nylon is very strong and elastic and light So what do you mean by light? Light means yes, less weight. Then second one is it was lustrous and easy to wash. It was 
lustrous. Lustrous means it's blingy. Okay, and easy to wash. Easy to wash. Then third one is articles such as socks, robes, tents, toothbrushes, car seat belts, sleeping bags, curtains, etc. are made from nylon. Okay, then in case of socks, yes, what is the property of sock? Socks, it is elastic, right? Yes, the socks are made up of nylon and ropes. Drops are very strong. Okay. Tent. Tent also very light. Less weight. Okay. Okay. These all articles are made from nylon. Then fourth one is it is also used for making parachutes and ropes for climbing. Although this uh, nylon is a very strong and elastic and light so this property are used for making these articles then last one nylon thread is stronger than a steel wire that is nylon is very strong okay these are all about uh, the types of synthetic fibers in this video so we can move to the next session, the last session of this video, exercise. Okay, you should write your exercise in your notebook and post in, in the WhatsApp. Okay, then the first question, which property of nylon is used in the following articles? First one, car seat belt. Second, parachute. Third one, ROPS. In these articles, which property of nylon is used? Then, second one, why rayon is called artificial silk? Why rayon is called artificial silk? Then, third one, which synthetic fiber is known as first fully synthetic fiber? Okay, fourth one, write any two properties of rayon. This all about today's video. Thank you.